Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Steven and today I'm going to show you how to add logos onto the football dragon. I know a lot of people have been asking how to do it for uh, personal use. And I'm going to show you my process. The first thing we're going to do is go to Google and type in whatever team you're looking for. I'm going to use the Green Bay Packers and just search for their logo. Click on images and then find the correct image that you want and then click on right click save image as and then save it to a folder that you will remember I already have mine saved so I'm gonna hit cancel then I'm gonna go to this website here it's called maker world click on maker lab and then go down to image to keychain and click on start click on create from blank and then you're gonna browse for your file and then just navigate to that folder where you saved it and then click on your logo. Then you're going to remove your background by clicking this keep background button and then change your image thickness to six millimeter and click confirm. Now it will take some time. So go ahead and let that load. So once your image is done loading, you click confirm and then you could change your filament color right here. And you can also change your color matching. For example, if you want to change all the yellow, to green. You can go ahead and click green. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to click download, download 3MF. So now that got sent to my downloads folder. Now I'm going to open up the football dragon. So click on your football dragon folder and open the football dragon 3MF. Once that's loaded, you can change the color of the dragon however you want it. You could change it to green, for example. But for now, for this tutorial, I'm going to leave the colors as is, and I'm going to show you how to add the logo. So now you're going to right click on the dragon, go to add part and go to load. Go to your downloads folder and find that logo that you just saved. Now it's going to load off to the side. So we're going to move it by clicking on the move object and then go ahead and grab the red handle and move it all the way over here. Now we're going to resize the logo by clicking the resize option, the scale, and grab the blue handle and make it. Now sometimes it'll grab the whole dragon, so hit Control Z to go back, and then go over to objects, and then make sure your keychain is selected. And then with only that selected, you could scale it down. Now you can move it. And now I have to rotate the, uh, the logo. So I'm going to click the rotate button and I'm going to actually move this around so I can get a better view. Click on my red handle and rotate it sideways. Now you see how it lifted the entire dragon. I'm going to click on the move tool and just pull this up and the dragon should fall back down. So now I'm going to rotate again. Click the blue handle on the uh, logo, rotate it. Then I'm going to move the logo again. And I'm going to click the green handle and pull it back into the head. And then the red one to pull it back out. And then blue to pull it down. And then pull it back. So you see how the logo is off to the side like that. We're going to take the rotate tool. Make sure the logo is selected. Click rotate and then rotate it on, grab that green handle and rotate it. All right, so we also have another problem. The, um, the logo is kind of thin. So what I'm gonna do is uh, click on the resize tool and then uncheck uniform scale and change your Z to around five millimeters. And that'll thicken up your logo so that you can make sure it's pushed all the way back into the head of the dragon. So that, that one's looking better. I'm going to reposition it. And also I'm going to resize it. And then pull it back out. All right, so I'm not going to um, put this in the exact position I want it. This is just for a demonstration tu tutorial. So your process is going to look a little different than mine. And you're probably going to be more precise with yours. But I'm just doing this to show you how to do it. So now I want the logo on the other side of the head. So I'm going to make sure that the logo is selected. With your logo selected right here, you're going to click Control C and then Control V. 
and that'll make a duplicate logo on it. And then you will take that duplicate logo, grab the red handle and pull it through the head until you get to the other side. Now you have the logo on this side. You're, you're not going to want to move it yet. What you have to do is mirror it. So right click on it, click on mirror along X, and then right click it again, click mirror, and then Y. And that'll put it in the correct position. So now you can reposition this logo as it's not going to be in the exact same spot. So you can move it backwards using the green handle and then the red handle to put, push it back into the helmet. If you want to change the color of the logo, you can, I'm going to add a quick yellow for the filament and then you can right click on your logo and then change your filament to yellow. So that'll change it to yellow and then I'll change this one too. Click on the uh, logo, right click, change filament to yellow. So once your dragon is all sliced, you have your logos on it, you can just send it to your 3D printer as is. The one thing I didn't do was, um, this isn't like a perfect logo position. Um, I know yours is probably going to be different, so I just wanted to show you the process.